Well, g'day, flatties and globe defenders. This is Critical Think from Down Under. Well, me mate, where's Wally pointed out that there's a couple of ISS transits coming up in my area. Now, there's uh, the one that's on Saturday, which was earlier today. There's a lunar transit coming up, but that's on a work day in the middle of the day, and I'm not going to be able to film that one. But I went out today and filmed that one, the solar transit. was a little bit of a way to travel for me. Uh, let's see now here where it is. So it was a, a few kilometres away, about 30 minutes drive. And I tried to park myself smack in the middle of the path so that I'd get a, a nice transit. So here I am out there at the designated location with my camera set up and pointing to the sun. Now this is called doing an experiment and uh, getting some observable reality by taking an actual observation. Not making stuff up and plucking something out of the place that the sun doesn't shine. No, let's get out there and actually observe reality. Now on this occasion the reality is the ISS passes in front of the sun and you can see it fly in front of the sun. Now this was taken before the ISS came over, a few minutes before. Uh, as it turned out the clouds did make a bit of a mess but still not too bad. This was taken a few minutes after the ISS passed in front of the sun and uh, as you can see it's quite a few clouds there but they were only thin and could still see the sun. So what we do here is set up the camera take a bit of a movie first just to check all the settings and everything is alright then we wait look at the clock and wait for about 15 to 20 seconds before the ISS is due to come over and start recording for about 30 to 40 seconds and you do this and hope for the best that you actually get the ISS. And there it goes. Did you see that? Yes, indeed. It come through at the predicted time or very close to it within a few seconds. So in that 30 to 40 second window, the ISS appeared as it was predicted in the globe model. Now in case you missed it, we'll run through... You should be able to see it again here. There we go. And we'll slow it down just a little bit. This one's at half the speed. There we go. Now we'll slow it down a little bit more. One quarter of the speed. Not too bad. Now one tenth of the speed. It's not quite the centre of the sun, but that's pretty good, a nice long trajectory across the sun. Now it is in the opposite direction to which the original slide showed, but I think the direction that is observed is correct. And uh, rather, somehow they've, I've noticed they've always got the direction upside down. That would be because here in Australia we're upside down, I would say. So here's a still out of that, and there's the ISS crossing in front of the sun. Now Harry Baird in Sydney took this video of a, a plane flying in front of the moon. Now this plane is at 30,000 feet or so traveling at about 850 kilometers an hour. Now look at the speed of this. That's pretty slow eh? People say that the ISS could be a plane, but there's a plane travelling. It's going really slow compared to the ISS. And yes, they say it could be a plane or a drone or something. Uh, but let's compare that with the speed of the ISS. So here's the ISS again. There we go. So that plane traveling very slowly compared to the ISS. The 
plane at 850 kilometres an hour. And I'd say, oh, the ISS looks like a lot faster than that, oh, about 28,000 kilometres an hour. <laughs> now me mate Wes Wally is going to do a full breakdown of that plane across the moon video from Harry. So here's a little bit of a teaser and look out for that video from Where's Wally. Anyway, that's it for now and uh, we'll see you again another time. If you like my content, please subscribe. Thank you.